Optifine shaders just came out, like literally just came out. And we're gonna show you exactly how to get it in this video. First things first, you're gonna need to download a shader pack. Now there are tons of different shader packs that are out there and in the description down below, we have a link to some of the best ones for 2023. We're gonna be updating this for 2024, literally in a few days. And right now you can see BSL shaders, all these are amazing. And in this video, I'm gonna install two. We're gonna install Makeup Ultra Fast shaders. So come here and click download. And we're also going to go ahead and install the complementary shaders packs. These are two of my favorites. It doesn't matter what shader pack you use, though. This will work. Generally, everything's compatible with Optifine shaders. Once you're on the download page for a shader pack, go ahead and click on files, and then you want to find the one that you want. In our case, that's going to be 1.20.4. A quick note on versions, though, just because it's not available for 1.20.4 doesn't mean it won't work. Shaders from 1.16, I've seen work in modern versions of Minecraft, 1.20, 1.20.4, things like that. So even if it's not up to date, still give it a shot. If you get in game and you're having issues, you can always just remove it and try another pack. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and click the three dots here and click download file. And while this is downloading, how about us from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your very own DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. At Simple Game Hosting, you can easily add mods, plugins, or mods mod packs, and if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support to help you out. So stop struggling to host your Minecraft server and host it the simple way at the breakdown.xyz slash SGH, first link in the description down below. Nevertheless, our shader pack is now downloaded. We're also going to download Makeup Ultra Fast, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw a curveball on you, because while this took you to CurseForge, there's somewhere else where you can download Makeup Ultra Fast shaders that is not CurseForge and is still legit, and a lot of shaders packs are now being hosted there. That is modern, so I wanted to show you what downloading something on Modern to look like as well. Once you're here, go ahead and click on versions and then here are all the versions. Again, you want to make sure you're downloading the most recent, but it doesn't have to be 1.20.4 as we can see 1.20.2 here. So go ahead and click the download button there and it will begin downloading just like complimentary. So whether it's on CurseForge or Modern, you're perfectly okay. And we can come here to the top and see all the different shaders packs that are on Modern, including complimentary, right? Which we just downloaded. Nevertheless, there is more downloading that needs to be done. We need to download Optifine itself. So in the description down below, there's a link to here. And this is our in-depth text guide on getting Optifine. It's helpful because we do go over all this, including installing shaders packs and troubleshooting issues. Whereas in a video like this, we can kind of only hit the basics. Nevertheless, once you're here, you want to go and click on this download Optifine button to be taken to Optifine's official download page. Now, the time I'm recording this, Optifine is still in beta. It's in preview. And so if we look under Minecraft 1.20.4 here, there isn't a version readily available. If there is, great. Go ahead and download that version because that version is stable. You're good to go. Right now, you may encounter some bugs with Optifine, but we want to go ahead and click on this preview versions button here to unlock, if you will, the Minecraft 1.20.4 download. So you got to make sure you click preview versions, otherwise this won't be here. And then there it is. We then want to come over here to mirror and click on that little mirror link. That's just bypassing an ad quickly. And now we can click download here to download Optifine. You may need to keep or save Optifine depending on your browser, but we can see it is now downloaded up here in the top right. So we're good to go. Now let's go ahead and minimize our browser. I'm going to move everything to the desktop. So that's going to be shaders and Optifine. Those can be found for me in my downloads folder here. We've got, as you can see, Makeup Ultra Fast, Complimentary, and Optifine itself. Once these are on our desktop, we want to get started with Optifine. So how do we do that? Well, go ahead and right click on Optifine, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java here, what we need to do is go to the description down below and download Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods like Optifine, so you have to have it in order to install Optifine. After you've got Java 17, you may need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. But first get Java, then run the jar fix. Then, if you couldn't open Optifine with Java already, you can do it now. Just right click on the Optifine file we downloaded, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the Optifine installer for Minecraft 1.20.4. All you've got to do to install Optifine is click install here. But first, make sure Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed before clicking install. Once you click install, you'll get this message, Optifine is successfully installed. Unless you don't. And the only reason this wouldn't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.4 before. So go do that. Just launch Minecraft with 1.20.4. Usually it's the latest release if you're watching this video. And once you've done that, come back here and you'll be able to install Optifine. 
Click OK and it will close out of the Optifine installer and we can delete it from our desktop. Now, let's install shaders. To do that, we just want to open up Minecraft. So just open up the Minecraft launcher. Then, once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to launch Minecraft with Optifine. Now, you should have an Optifine installation already. For me, it's already selected down here and we can go ahead and click play. But if we don't have Optifine here, right, what do we do? Well, we want to go up to installations at the top. Then you want to make sure modded is checked because if modded is not checked, Optifine is not there. As soon as we check modded, it appears. We can click play and click play again. But if you still don't have Optifine here, go ahead and click new installation. Now you can name it whatever you want, but of course I'm naming it simplegamehosting.com because that is the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. Then go ahead and click the version drop down box here and click on release 1.20.4 Optifine. Then change the resolution. You don't have to, I'm just doing that so you can see better once we get in game and click create. Now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly has 1.20.4 dash optifine under it hover over this click play click play again and now minecraft will open up with optifine installed and that's the hard part it's super easy to add in our shaders packs here into optifine once optifine is basically installed and up and running like it is right now so from the minecraft main menu all we've got to do is click on options and then we want to go to video settings and then shaders that's pretty fast so let me do it one more time from the minecraft main menu go to options video settings and then shaders then to install shaders just click this shaders folder button in the bottom left that will open our shader packs folder and all we've got to do is drag and drop our shader packs from our desktop into this shader packs folder right like so watch this as soon as we close out of this they are in game so now when we come back here we can select a shaders pack like complimentary by clicking on it it'll reload minecraft and then we can click done before clicking done though i do want to mention there are shaders options in the bottom right and these are super helpful you can change your profile for example to be a lower or higher setting depending on what you are you know playing on with minecraft you can change the different styles right here depending on the pack and all packs are going to be different here so keep that in mind but it is a good thing to know about because it can really help improve things. For example, some people hate fog. So you can come in here and turn off all the different fog that this shader pack adds. Nonetheless, we can go ahead and jump in to our simple game hosting server and see that this is in fact working without issue. Shaders will work on any Minecraft server that is joinable by vanilla. So you don't have to worry about installing mods in the server or anything like that to get shaders to work. Shaders just work on vanilla Minecraft servers. And we can see here that is the case. Now, this is complimentary shaders. It looks really, really good. But what if we wanted to change a shader pack in game and check out the other one we installed? We can do that. Just hit escape, go into options, video settings, and then shaders. So escape, options, video settings, shaders, and we can select makeup ultra fast. When we do that, we can come back in game and see how different this shader pack changed things and, and made it look truly completely different than it did with the other pack. I do want to mention that if you want the best FPS as possible that you can get out of shaders, we actually made a mod pack designed to do that. It's called Notifine and it's linked in the description down below. It uses not Optifine, but other mods to simulate all the stuff that Optifine does and boost performance even more than Optifine can with shaders. For example, if I hit F3 and check my FPS, you can see that I'm getting, you know, 100, I think it was 180 FPS there for a second. Well, what if I told you with the Notifine mod pack linked in the description on CurseForge and Modern, I was getting over 400. 100 FPS. I've seen 500 FPS possible with shaders and without shaders you can get over 2000 FPS. So if that's your goal, go check that out in the description. Otherwise, Optifine shaders are now installed and working and we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.